guys welcome to today's video what I want to do today is show you how to install a recess D-ring kit on your trailer the kit I'm going to install today is from a company called buyers and that kit comes with the D-ring a backing plate and four bolts so to go ahead and install this kit I recommend that you have a square a tape measure a drill with a three and a half inch hole saw and a 9 16 deep ball socket but keep in mind those tools are for installing this buyer's kit that I have here. If you're installing someone else's kit, your sizes may vary. The location of where you want to install them is going to be sort of up to you, and it might be dependent on how many different D-rings you want to install. Most likely though, you're at least going to be installing these on the corners of your trailer. If you're installing the D-rings on a trailer that has plywood floor, it really doesn't matter where you put it, as long as you make sure that you have clearance underneath for the bolts and the backing plate to clear. In my case here, I have uh, two by 10 wood planks on the deck of my trailer. And there's a couple of different options you can um, choose to place your D-rings. You could put them you know, dead center in the middle of a plank. Personally, I don't really recommend that. I think it's a little bit better to go ahead and straddle two different planks with the D-ring so you don't compromise one plank by cutting so much material out of the middle of it. So we're gonna put ours right between two planks and then the bolts and the backing plate for the D-ring will effectively tie these two planks together at this point and it should maintain as much strength as possible. I'm gonna put the D-ring, you know, roughly about right there. That'll give us plenty of clearance underneath for the backing plate and bolts. What I'm also gonna do is mark over about a half an inch and that's where we're gonna actually drill our hole. So it is gonna offset the D-ring slightly over a little bit. And the only reason I'm doing that is so the hole saw auger bit has a place to go so this hole saw bit isn't going to want to walk around all over when I'm trying to drill the hole. It's really not going to make a difference for the mounting of the D-ring, it's just going to make things easier for me when I drill the hole. Alright, so let's go ahead and drill that hole with our 3.5 inch hole saw. Now we're going to go ahead and mark our hole. Also, whenever you put this in, you want the, the ring to face where the strap's going to go. You don't want to have that in here and then be trying to put your strap this way and it's going to resist against the, uh, the plate. So face it like that, go in the direction that your strap's going to go. This is where the square comes in handy. If you want this to be nice and neat, you can square that up with the side of the trailer to make sure that it's that it's nice and straight. Oh my god, mark our four holes. All right, let's go ahead and drill the holes. Alright, so now we're ready to go ahead and install the backing plate and the nuts, and you're going to want to orient this how I have it shown here. So if the D-ring comes up like this, you know, like I said earlier, the straps are going to be going that way, you want this extra long part of the plate to be on this side. And the reason that they're doing that is because those forces from the strap are going to be pulling this way, so you want to have that extra metal support back here pulling against that.
All right, guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you install them. Um, I have about nine more to do, so I'm going to go ahead and get done with that, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.